What's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a button using HTML, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can create buttons using HTML. We'll need a pair of button tags. There's an opening button tag and a closing button tag. Here's our button to add some text between the button tags. We can add whatever text we want to the button, like click me. You can set this up as a hyperlink when you click on the button. To do so, just surround your button element with a pair of A tags. There's an opening A tag and a closing A tag. And I will set the href attribute of the opening button tag to a URL or relative file path of my choosing. To make this simple, let's set the URL to google.com. And then when I click on this button, it takes me to Google. You can disable a button by adding a disabled boolean attribute to the opening button tag, and we can no longer click on this button. If you know a little bit of CSS, you can add some CSS properties directly to a button by setting the style attribute equal to and list some CSS properties of your choosing. Let's change the background color. You can pick a color name. You can use RGB values or you can use hexadecimal values. I think I'll set this to a dark gray color, so maybe six threes. For RGB values and hexadecimal values, you can always use a color picker online. So if you would like to add multiple CSS properties, separate each CSS property with a semicolon. And next I will change the color, that's the font color. And maybe I'll pick green. One color I like is 00FF00. That's just a bright green color. You can also round these borders too by using the border radius property. So again, separate each CSS property with a semicolon, and I will set the border radius property to five pixels just around the corners. Okay, cool. That's a pretty fancy looking button if I do say so myself, and yep, it still takes us to Google. Just by us using HTML, this adds structure to a web page, but it doesn't necessarily add functionality. That's where a language like JavaScript comes in. When we click on a button, we can have this button execute some function from a JavaScript file. I'll show you how we can create a very simple JavaScript program, but of course we'll cover this more in the JavaScript series. So let's get rid of this hyperlink and have our button do something else. There is an on click attribute that we can set to a JavaScript function. So we just place the name of the function between a set of double quotes. We haven't created a JavaScript function yet, but let's say that we'll have a JavaScript function named do something, and then follow that name with a set of parentheses. And let's create a paragraph element. And we will say hello, and then close it. With this paragraph element, I'm going to set the ID attribute equal to, let's say, test. Here's how we can code a very simple JavaScript program. You're going to create a pair of script tags. There's an opening script tag and a closing script tag. And within the script, I will say function do something, parentheses, curly braces. So this function will perform some subsection of code. So when we click on our button, what do we want this program to do? We will take document.getElement by ID parentheses list the ID of our paragraph element test dot inner HTML and I will set this equal to goodbye. Then add a semicolon at the end. Okay, so when we click on this button, it's going to execute this function, do something, and then perform whatever code is between this set of curly braces. So you may need to save, refresh your web page, and if done correctly, when you click on this button, it will change this text from hello to goodbye. So that is a very small JavaScript program. So there is an on-click attribute that you can set equal to a JavaScript function. But of course, we'll cover more about JavaScript well in the JavaScript playlist. But that's one way in which you can add functionality to a button. In this video, we were more focused on actually creating the button itself. 
So yeah, if this video helped you out, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.